Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a shopper drop where I go through all of the new makeup releases on Chai Mood and I tell you my thoughts about them, if I bought them already, if I plan on picking them, or if I'm going to drop them from my shopping list. So let's get into it. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And that's what this whole video is about, all the new makeup on the makeup market. <laughs> so as you guys know, I always get my information from Trend Mood one on Instagram. And this idea did originally stem from Samantha March who does her Will I Buy It series. Let's get into it. So the first one that I have to talk about today is the NARS newest collection. It is called the Uninhibited Collection. So in here you have a nine pan eyeshadow palette and it looks like a couple cheek duos maybe just one this is currently available i know on the nars website right now the packaging is beautiful one thing that nars always does very well with their collections is the packaging i really do feel like they have stepped it up that being said what is inside the packaging seems to be recycled products i mean listen i like nars I like their quality. Pretty much everything I get from them, you know, obviously there's hits and misses in every brand, but pretty much everything I get from them, I personally feel is very high quality and they end up being products that I use. But this collection specifically, I really feel like <laughs> does lack some originality here and these definitely exist within their own range within recent launches. So yeah, I'm sure it's pretty. I'm sure the quality is nice, but I will be dropping it from my shopping list because I've never seen something so unoriginal. I mean, yeah, sorry Nars. I love ya. I love your quality, but not gonna spend my money on that. I don't normally talk too much about Kaja on my channel, but I do see that they came out with a rose balmy bento. So those bentos started off as eye bentos and then they turned into cute lip duo, like a lip scrub. And then we also have a hydrating lip gloss. I'm also going to be dropping these for my list, but they are available now. They have really cute names. Milk tea, pink drink. Ooh, I love that. Passing on those, I just don't need them right now. I don't need any lip products. Seems like lip oils, lip glosses, lip balms, they're all so big right now and I don't know why because I am not taking care of my lips right now. <laughs> but no, not picking those up, but I'm sure they're fine. I really do like the Kaja products. So the Chantecaille Spring 2021 collection was revealed. It looks so pretty. I love that butterfly packaging of the quad. I'm also dropping this from my list. If you don't know my stance on Chantecaille, I love their products. I think I think they have some gorgeous quality products. They work very well, but <laughs> they're really expensive. And I spend a lot of money on my channel, on products, all of that. And normally when I buy Shantakai, while I'm very happy with the purchase, I do think it's a bit overpriced. Like if this was given to me, I'd be very happy about it, but I personally don't see myself going out of my way to pick this up. Love the packaging. That butterfly quad literally looks scrumptious. Like so beautiful, so airy, so fairy, so spring-like, but I shall be passing on that. I thought about it though. I did think about it. It caught my eye for sure. I always talk about MAC releases and I always say the same thing, but I figured I would repeat myself just so that you could see the newest launch. So MAC is coming out with their Black Cherry collection. It is Sakura inspired and it looks really beautiful. Those cheek colors right there at the top left corner. Like, that's the kind of product where I'm not gonna go out of my way to rush to pick it up. But, like, if I happen to be at a MAC counter or passing by, like, a Macy's or something and I see them on display, I might pick up one or two. But it's not something that I'm gonna go out of my way to get. But even though the MAC collections don't catch my eye like they did 10 years ago, this looks like a beautiful collection. I'm really only eyeing the cheek palettes. Dropping it from my shopping list at the moment, but if I happen to be in person at a store, which I probably won't be, but if I was, I would pick up one or two of those cheek colors because they look like a beautiful glowy blush. All right, let's talk Dominique Cosmetics' newest launch. This is the Transition Palette. It is a beautiful array of all matte shades. I also will be dropping this from my list. If you can't really tell, none of the launches recently have caught my eye. It's pretty. It's useful. It's not what I need. I have Vizzy Art. It's available on Beautylist right now if you do want to pick it up. And I think it has some great key products. 
but it's not anything that I need. I like Dominique Cosmetics formula for the most part. I have a couple of her palettes which I really do thoroughly enjoy. This is one that obviously I don't need it. I mean you guys see my collection. I don't need this and I think if you're in need of a great matte palette with all of the basic neutral shades, sure, go for it. And I like Kristen. I think she, I mean, I don't know her in person, but she seems like a very level-headed person. You know, she has millions of subscribers and she stays to the side out of the drama doing her own thing, which I have much respect for. So yeah, I mean, I would have liked to see her come out with the shimmery counterpart to it. That would have been really cool. Let's see, it looks like Makeup Revolution has some Charlotte Tilbury dupes going on. These are the Eye Bright Illuminating Under Eye. Honestly, I'm intrigued. While I think Makeup Revolution has weird undertones in their complexion products, I do like their complexion products. I cannot stay on their eyeshadows. I have not tried a good formula from Makeup Revolution and eyeshadows, but surprisingly, I've enjoyed their complexion products. So this isn't something that I'm gonna run out and get, but again, it's that type of item where if I see it at Ulta, it's available, maybe it's like a buy one, get one 50% off sale, I would pick it up. So I definitely have interest in this. I would like to know how it compares to the Charlotte Tilbury because honestly, the Charlotte Tilbury version of this, I'm not a big fan of. I find it to be really creasy. So yeah, I hate that packaging though. So maybe I won't, I don't know. Hmm, obviously I'm not super excited about it. So yeah, okay. This is very, very interesting, you all. So the Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation by Morphe came out. As far as I'm aware, I think I heard this, that Danessa Myricks helped out with this lime. An interesting collaboration, but it makes sense because Danessa Myricks products are actually sold at Morphe. I believe they consulted her in terms of help with the complexion range. And I didn't end up picking this up. I'm weird about foundations just because I don't wear foundation Monday through Friday because I wear a mask all day at my job and I don't wear foundation under my mask. I can't stand that feeling. So I can only film reviews on the weekends, so I'm very, very limited to what I can do. So no, I didn't pick this up. I think it's very interesting that they collaborated with Danessa Myricks on this. I think I've heard good things about this foundation, honestly. Not that I've really been looking it up, but I think I've heard somewhere that it was pretty good. Not gonna pick it up, but intriguing for sure. Milk Makeup, they reformulated their Sunshine Skin Tint, and I have the original. I really like it, but I didn't like the way that it wore. So this definitely did Interest me. I think this is something that I'm gonna pick up at the Sephora VIB sale whenever that happens next so I can get a little bit more of a discount on it or I actually have a 15% off coupon in my email that I might use it for. I do have intentions of picking this up. I don't think I'll do a full dedicated review but this is something that interests me because I have the old formulation so I am interested to see if it improves or not because quite frankly I liked this product and I do think there was things that could have improved on it so I want to see if they did that. Just for curiosity's sake. So I have received a few questions about the Urban Decay Wild West palette. So this is available now. I did pass on it at first, okay? Looking at this color story, <laughs> I don't know why. Like, I no sh nothing against Urban Decay, but their naked palettes really haven't called out to me recently. I liked the look of the stoned Vibes one, is that what it was called? Uh, the quality ended up disappointing me, but that was the first palette from Urban Decay that I was like, oh, that's really, really pretty. This one looks like palettes that they came out with in like 2010. Brands all around have been releasing a color story like this, but I have heard good things about it. And I have an upcoming video where I did actually end up purchasing this palette. I didn't want to, but I had to for that video. It will make sense when that video comes. So I will have a video up on this palette because for the video that I made, I, I, I had to buy it. And yeah, so personally, I wasn't that interested in it. It seems to have all the colors that I already have with a couple pops of blue, but I heard good things about the quality and I do have it on the way to my house so there will be a time where I do update you on my thoughts on this so I guess I did shop it. This has been tempting me. I don't really know that much about this brand but I'm really into it. This is the Prismic eyeshadow palette by Byredo. It is currently available. It looks stunning. It's a $96 palette so it is in the luxury price range. It's quite quite pricey but it looks beautiful. I almost added it to my cart the other day 
but at the end of the day I decided it was something that I was buying just to buy and I didn't need to do that so I did decide to drop it from my list but I'm at the edge because it looks beautiful it really does I just don't think I don't are you guys interested in that I didn't feel like it was a brand that you guys would be interested in I only had one request I think asking me about this palette which is why I was like I wasn't getting much requests for it so you know $96 I don't want it to be a video that I don't make the money back you know I don't need it okay point blank <laughs> Okay, I also, I guess Milk Makeup's coming out with some new products. I watched a video on this, and I almost got it for a video myself, but it would be one of those products where I would use it once for the video and never use it again, and I don't want that to happen. But these are the Color Chocks by Milk Makeup. You're supposed to be able to use them in a plethora of ways on the eye, wet, dry, on the lips. It looked interesting. It looked like something that I wanted to do a video on and then would never use it again. It just seemed a little bit lacking and functionality because you have to like peel it around the edges it's like chalk it's just not easy looking to use and I don't know look it up it it looked kind of gimmicky to me which is why I wanted to get it but I don't need it dropping that from my list okay not gonna cover this for too long but I just want to talk about the Jaclyn Hill Valentine's Day vault set I completely forgot about it I was gonna order it I really wanted to I was excited to see her come out with some new things I really love the highlighters she had a great launch last year with those highlighters great formula and I forgot about it so obviously I didn't get it because <laughs> it sold out in like two minutes no I didn't get that <laughs> The Marc Jacobs Cafe collection launched. This collection is beautiful. I already have tried a couple of those products. I'm actually wearing the uh, foundation all over my skin today. I use the lighter duo that I bought for myself. And at this point, I think the video should be up. So you guys should know that. So yes, I did shop this. Beautiful, beautiful collection. Not the best launch. That face palette, I didn't like the highlighter in it. And the foundation... I'm liking it less and less the more I wear it. Let's just let's just say that. <laughs> okay, so you guys have been pressuring me. You've been hinting about the Vive makeup brand and up until this point I have not purchased anything. These blushes look they look beautiful. Um okay, so I think the next launch that Vive has, I will pick up some items, whatever the new items are and then some of the old to try out the brand. You guys have convinced me, so I didn't buy these blushes. I haven't bought anything from the brand yet. But I think the next launch that catches my eye, I'm definitely going to pick up some items from the range. They're made in Italy. I've heard they're beautiful formulas. Very luxurious. Sounds right up my alley. So thank you guys for letting me know how awesome this brand is. So while I won't be picking up anything now, definitely a brand I'm going to try this year. Saying it now. Oh, BH Cosmetics launched a new collection. You guys know I'm a BH Cosmetics stan. I think they have some of the best affordable eyeshadow quality and powder quality. I passed on this collection. I honestly didn't see it until like yesterday and it launched a cup like a week ago. The eyeshadow palette is really pretty and the blush palette, honestly the cheek palette is catching my eye more. But I have some BH Cosmetics palettes already on standby that I want to try and use more. I have like the Blueberry palette and a couple of the Ice Cream palettes. So since I haven't tried those yet, then I definitely don't need to add this one on. So I'm passing on those, but I approve of BH's formula if you're interested in this palette. So yeah, and the cheek products again. That is what is catching my eye. Um, I'm not going to talk about this too much. Very blessed that ColourPop sent me their Melrose collection. It did launch uh, last week as well. I'm wearing that today. So yes, I didn't, well, no, I didn't shop it, but I do have it. I have a IG Reel coming. If it's not up already on this look, so you'll see that palette in action. It's very, very pretty. I'm also wearing one of the blushes and one of the glasses. It's a nice collection. It's a typical ColourPop collection. Nothing crazy unique. KKW Beauty. I feel like Kim Kardashian has stopped pushing her beauty brand as much. She's more so into like Skims, which Skims I think is doing really well. I really want to try some things from Skims. But anyways, KKW Beauty. Honestly, I like the look of this collection. It looks really pretty. Their Spring 2021 collection. So the Mauve's collection looks beautiful. And Tara Lynn loves KKW Beauty. And I believe she's doing a review on this. I go to her for information on that brand. I mean, I'm not picking up anything from this collection. It's 
not anything I know a lot of you guys are interested in and I'm sure it'll add up in money that I don't need to spend so I'm gonna pass well, look I'm making very good financial decisions in this video and I am so proud of myself <laughs> no I don't need that no but seriously the launches lately I'm just like they're filling up space here okay okay here's one that's more exciting this is the busy art love letter Paris love letter eat and do palette I like this new size that they have <sighs> the packaging is adorable the color story a lot of you guys were telling me it reminded you of Mel Thompson's palette um, with Sydney Grace and it, it does it has similar vibes and similar tones I think it's especially that mint green and like that lighter pastel purple that's making you think they look alike and I'm sure you can get similar looks but I'm not getting like dupe vibes from this anyways this is a very pretty palette I do wish Vizzy Art would really like step outside of their box and do something a little bit different because obviously this isn't anything crazy with the exception of that light green they've kind of just been staying with more muted tones which is the nature of their brand so I'm not gonna knock them for that but they did They've come out with a couple palettes in the last couple of years that have just knocked my socks off. They've been really original new color stories. And if they had played a little bit more off of that green and had added more colors complementary to the green that might match with the green, a little bit more of a monochromatic vibe, I feel like it could have been a bit more successful because I know just based on your guys' input, it is a bit light. It isn't anything exciting that... Why is hair sticking to me? It isn't anything super exciting that you don't already have. As far as if I'm picking it up, I'm waiting to see if they send it in PR because sometimes they'll send me PR. And if they don't, I do want to pick this up because I love Vizier and I love supporting them anyways. And I like this color story. I think it's nice, but again, it, it doesn't knock my socks off. I would be lying if I said it did. This is really pretty. Too Faced is coming out with this teddy bear collection. Obviously, it is the eyeshadow palette that catches my eye. As of now, I'm not interested in picking it up, but I kind of am. I know. Like, it's nothing unique, but I'm, I'm kind of interested. It's just sometimes weird makeup items catch my eye. So I'm kind of in the middle right now. I think I haven't reviewed anything from Too Faced in a very long time because they've been coming out with junk. And this could potentially very much, very well be um, some junk, but benefit of the doubt. I kind of like it. I like the teddy bear vibes. I do. <laughs> I know you're going to be like, Morgan, don't waste your money, but I'm feeling it. Did you see, I posted this on my community tab, these cute little lip glosses that Pat McGrath launched on Valentine's Day. Now, I have both of those glosses, I believe, so I didn't pick them up, but if you don't have their shades, it was a really nice duo, $25 for two lipstick shades and cute little hearts. That's so adorable to keep in your purse. I mean, I, <laughs> I didn't pick it up, I don't need it, but if you're interested, I think it's adorable. We're coming towards the end, guys. So Tatcha is coming out with this silk powder. This is coming to the Trend Mood box, and I have yet to purchase a Trend Mood box, but I don't I don't know if I'll end up fighting for this. It comes out March 6th. I might. I might. I always forget about this Trend Mood box thing, but I'm interested in the powder regardless. So even if I don't end up with the Trend Mood box, I'm gonna pick this up because I like Tatcha products, I like their ingredients, and I have a good feeling about this powder. So yeah, I want to pick that up. It will be happening. So Becca is coming out with this face palette, which is available at Nordstrom. And listen, Becca, where, are you, where have you been at? Um, I used to love Becca face palettes. I used to pick up every single one that they would come out with, but lately I've just kind of felt like, Bleh about their face palettes that they've come out with and I used to think that they had the best face palettes. This looks really pretty, it looks really soft, but if it ain't the furthest thing from what I need, you know? Uh, <laughs> passing this looks pretty, but I just, it doesn't seem to me that much thought was put into this. It just kind of, remember that word garbage that I used earlier, or leftovers, like, Yeah. Okay, last product that I'm going to talk about. Huda Beauty is coming out with a new eyebrow product. This is the Bomb Brow Micro Shade Brow Pencil. And let me tell you, Miss Huda, she was like, this is the thinnest, the most hair-like, the most natural, easiest brow pencil that you'll use. And I was like, but is it really? 
I'm gonna bust that myth, y'all. Okay, so at first I was like, no, I'm not getting it, but I think I'm going to end up doing it because I am a makeup reviewer at the end of the day, and what's the point if I don't buy the makeup to review? So for my channel and just because of my curiosity, I think I'm gonna pick this one up. When does it launch? February 23rd, so it launches in five days. I need to write that down in my calendar. So yes, I'm gonna be picking this up. It's been a while since I bought a good brow product anyways, and I feel like brow pencils aren't that hard to make. It's not that hard to master, you know? So I'll try it, I'm interested. I look like a wet dog right now. I just got out of the shower. But since I filmed this, three products of interest to me came out that I wanted to talk about with you guys. So the first one is from Dior. It is the Backstage Face and Body Powder. Yes, I will be picking that up and doing a review. I love face powders. I love powder foundations. So this is a perfecting translucent powder with a blurring effect. So I guess it's more of a finishing powder that's supposed to give you like a no powdery finish. 100% yes, the Dior Backstage line is my favorite. The next one, ColourPop has revealed their Bambi collection. Another collab with Disney. And she's really, really cute. I will say I'm dropping this from my list. Now, I may very well get it in PR. I'm not sure. It's the kind of thing where if I don't get it in PR, I'm definitely not going to buy it. But if I do get it in PR, I'll definitely cover it for those of you who are interested. But as far as me and where my money goes, it's not going to go towards that. And then the last item that I wanted to talk about is from Artist Couture. They released this spring kind of collection, Ethereal Bloom. Listen, it's so weird because Artist Couture did such a good job with that neutrals palette. And then everything else, I've just been like, why? You had such a good palette and I don't like... Anyways, <laughs> passing on that, dropping it from my list. So, okay, that's it. Make a moves too fast. I can't film these videos days in advance. All right. Oh my gosh, I almost called you boys and girls. <laughs> I'll say, all right, boys and girls. <laughs> Like I'm teaching my students if you didn't know I'm a teacher. Anyways, that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you're interested in picking up. Are the launches causing you to yawn like they kind of are for me? Now, this is the time of year where usually the launches are like lolly dolly, not interesting at all. I mean, I like spring collection stuff, but nothing really has caught my eye. I don't know. Like brands need to... They need to do something to catch my interest because it's not hard to catch my interest. Okay, anyways, if you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I hope that you would consider taking the time to do so. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one.